All right, I'm at Tasty's in Edison. It's 1963, one of the legendary places here in Jersey. We're gonna go ahead and get a Jersey sub. It smells amazing in here. It smells like a great deli. I'm gonna do the number five, which is a super sub, which is a combination of number one, two, and three. And um, let's check them out, man. Love the branding, love the logo, mad old school. So they got, uh, I guess the, the menu's on here too. They got beef bologna, as y'all can see. Looks good, looks real good. I think I can eat this in one sitting by myself, honestly. That's good, old school, old school style. Look at the bread, nice and soft too. I'm gonna do this cut right here. Boom. That is good. Mm -mm -mm. It's delicious. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. First time here. Tasty's has been a favorite in the area for a long time. I see. They have a second shop down here on 27 in Franklin Park. Okay. This is good. Now what I like about them is, is they, they stay true to the game since 1963. The bread looks original, I like the style. Like I like that. I like when a sandwich shop is their own. Cause now you have a reason to go there. Don't nobody want to clone, right? So tasty, it definitely looks good. Gotta put gotta put the chips in there though, get that crunch. Everybody loves me. Mmm. Try everything on here. <clears throat> Lettuce, tomato, onions. Mayo, oil, vinegar, that pepper relish too, really good. It's a really easy sandwich to eat. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like the bread, the bread is good. The bread is uh, nice and soft, uh, airy, it's, like I said, it's, it's not tough. Mm. Good. Barely said a word. That was good. I mean, what I, where would I rank this? This is like a homemade sandwich, home style sandwich. You know, like it reminds me of something like my mother in law makes. Y'all you know when y'all go to like the, the deli shop, you ask for like the end cuts. That's what. That's how she would make the sandwiches. This reminds me of that. It's very comforting, very homey. You know, home home style comes to mind with the sandwich. It was good. Let's do the tuna next. Nice. 
love me a good tuna. <laughs> I do. For right here. Love me a good tuna. And I feel like this tuna is gonna shine with this soft bread. Really soft bread. So I guess this is what a sub looks like. Philly hoagies are different. Philly hoagies, I know. The bread is different. The way they layer the cold cuts is different. I can appreciate different, you know, different stuff. I grew up in a small town, very, very poor. We would get our lunch from the next town over. We would get their leftovers. And um, this tuna sandwich reminds me of the tuna sandwiches we would get. I mean, it's nostalgic to me. It tastes, it's given me a blast from the past. This tastes, this tastes like a school lunch, which is a great thing. Hmm. Tuna is nice and creamy. I had more mayo on there. Nice crunch from the lettuce, onions, but the bread, just as I expected, the bread is nice and soft. It complements this tuna really well. Good tuna, so underrated, man. It's not much to be said. A sub, it's tasty, definitely lives up to the name, affordable and quick. But like, what would I rank this amongst my sandwich shop? This is like somewhere like, Tastes like a blast from the past, man. Eight three. Eight three. Thank you. Thank you. I got it. All right, there we have it, y'all. Tasties and Edison. Great. I enjoyed it a lot. It was a great sandwich. Definitely old school. Very affordable. They get you in and out fast. What else can you expect, you know? Support this small business. I'm out of here. I'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace.